Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Wednesday, September the 11th, 2013. We'll be looking now at the Dow Jones Industrial Average and discussing some uh, patterns that may develop here on this chart. I also want to point out that several of the charts that we have on the website at PerfectStockAlert.com have had multiple days to the upside. Uh, and I think in some cases they had like seven consecutive days to the upside. I think it was the Wilshire 4500. Uh, no market moves straight up and so or straight down, so we need to um, be anticipating uh, you know, some consolidation, some kind of a down period uh, that would uh, give some hesitation for uh, the market before we continue on the current direction or change direction. So right now we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. In this particular chart, we talked about back during this time period, some buy signals, and again here, once you made this move, we told you you had clear sailing all the way up to the same level that you had before, like 15,340, we said about 15,350 basically, uh, and you came pretty close to that today. So uh, with the clear, uh, strong candlestick formation here and here, you notice there's no wick at the top or the bottom, it means there's no sell pressure whatsoever in this mix. That was the clear sailing we're talking about, all the way up to that level. At this point in time, something could uh, change, and so it's important that you take note of that. Uh, right now, my stop is still set here. You could do various different things. You could advance the stop to this point here, and then if she continues to press higher, just keep pushing that stop. If, in fact, uh, you get a little pullback like this, which I wouldn't anticipate a very big pullback, but if you were to get something like this, uh, then you could wait and you start moving higher again. You could advance the stop from that point to that point, and then just keep doing that. Um, there's a lot of different things that can happen here. What I would look for personally, uh, well, of course, it's... There's, there's two things that will happen. Either A, we will continue to move up here and take out this level, or B, we will consolidate for a bit and then make that move higher. And I would be marking that the buy signal as well, anticipating that take out that high. And again, this is something we've seen before. Here you had this move up here, and we came after we broke down and, and had lower lows and closed below the 50 period moving average. Got sell signs here and here. And then we noticed on this candlestick formation, we're talking about this here could also be just a little um, uh, bullish flag. And if you broke out to the upside, you would measure this distance here and add that to the breakout there. And that would be your target for that. Uh, that's what happened here. We didn't trade that situation because we knew there was going to be a, another pullback to test this low. Uh, so we didn't bother with it. Uh, but in this particular case, I would bother with it. So if we were to consolidate for a couple of days, something like that, a little flag pattern maybe develop or um, a pennant or something like that, then you would use that as an opportunity to get long if you're not already anticipating a move up here. You could also, like I said, just continue to move higher here and that would be fine too. If we started to move higher, I would start advancing the stops, locking that second phase of that move. Quick glance here at the German DAX composite, same basic overall story. You can see this massive move to the upside after we get those buy signals, taking out the previous high. That's all good and dandy. Uh, and now I would advance the stop to this point here. Uh, what's going to happen here if you continue to press the upside it's fine but you've already had six consecutive days to the upside that's above average you get seven eight that's fine but it can't maintain that it has to pull back and so you're going to be watching for that and you want to look for an opportunity to get long again at that pullback because you will test the previous high that's the way that works we'll cover it when it happens but uh, i would advance the stop on this one and there's several others that i'll be advancing the stop sign you can check them out the free website perfectstockler.com Quick glance here at the India Bombay Stock Exchange, just when we started talking about yesterday, advancing the stop on that as well. A nice rally to the upside from the buy point. And again, now you can see we're starting to stall out a little bit here. You can see that, uh, if you want to call it a doji formation, uh, basically it's obviously less or different than you'd seen before. But still, you can see one, two, three, four, five consecutive days to the upside, but you're losing momentum here. That's why you had this big, massive day to the upside consolidation here. Uh, you can still press higher, but be advancing that stop because eventually you're going to have to pull back and get some consolidation. You can re-enter that point in time. A quick glance here at the SPX, the S&P 500. You can see that we've had seven, what was it, seven? Yeah, seven consecutive days to the upside here. Uh, and again, no market moves straight up. You can have eight, nine days. Eventually, you're going to have a down day. So look, over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a down day. Uh, so it's important to take note of that. In this scenario, because our buy, our entry opportunity was so late in the trade, I don't want to take the stop loss limit and put it up here. Because if you did that and you got a down day like that, you could have yourself stopped out uh, for no darn good reason when actually it isn't quite the, the peak there. So uh, I want to let this one have room to breathe. If you get a little pullback like this, that's fine. Let it continue to make its move. 
uh, and to test the previous high. As long as we can continue pressing there without getting a sell signal, then we're fine. We'll just stay with it on the long side. If we start getting sell signals, then we'll do something different. But right now, uh, there's still room to move to the upside. And the fact that you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven consecutive days to the upside shows strength in the market. So that's important to note as well. Quick glance here at the Wilshire 4500, the EMW. On this particular chart, we do have the same seven consecutive days to the upside. The late buy entry opportunity here, the buy signal came uh, off of this 50 period moving average. Uh, but in any event, I would advance the stop on this one. In fact, let me do that right quick. All right, so there's a stop advanced at low of today. And the reason I've done this on this particular chart is because even though you can come up here and beat out the previous high, here's the previous high, and you can come up here and you can keep pushing and, and make a higher high, and I'll keep pushing that stop until I'm eventually stopped out. The reason for that is that you have this guy here right here, the ultimate oscillator, hits off the 90 line, and therefore any move that goes beyond that point, you're not going to see the same thing with the ultimate oscillator, and therefore you're going to have a downslope here, upslope here, and that would be bearish divergence telling you to look for a pullback, and that would be what I would expect. That's why I would push myself out of the trade by advancing the stop, and then look for the pullback, and maybe get an entry opportunity at that point in time. For those of you who are looking at my, for my personal charts, the three-month daily, the two-year weekly, you can go right here to the market section of the free website. Click right there. Their charts are updated nightly, both the short-term and long-term, with entry uh, signals that I see developing, as well as stop-loss limits and chart patterns, etc., etc. Again, if you've not been to the free website, it's right there. It's 100% free, and all we ask in return, please refer a friend. God bless. Take care. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.